Today we're reading from Luke chapter 13, verses 22 to 30. And this is a difficult passage, a challenging passage. Sometimes scripture seems to teach a wide open door of salvation, a totally inclusive welcome for all. Other times it speaks of a narrow door, a difficult entry, and notes of warning are sounded like in this passage. Will we be part of the weeping and gnashing of teeth when we see others enter but are shut out? Who wouldn't rather be let in than shut out? No one wants to be left out in the cold. So is it hard or easy to be saved, to be let into the presence of God, into the kingdom? Why do these passages seem to contradict each other? I think it's all about context and audience. Each approach is appropriate to the audience. Here, Jesus is speaking to people who were complacent and who assumed that they were in God's favour just because they happened to have been born Jewish, descended from Abraham. That idea of entitlement is quashed a number of times in the New Testament. No one has a favoured position. No one is at an advantage before God. What would be the equivalent of this today, I wonder? Could it be that someone who's even been to church quite a lot, but whose heart has never been touched by the love of God and whose life bears no resemblance to the life of loving service that Jesus lived? Any sense of entitlement, any sense of I deserve this, is out of place between us and God. In other places, scripture is addressing those of an anxious nature, sincere and longing for God, but perhaps insecure and uncertain. In their case, whatever their background, whatever their past, the welcome is warm and assured. Luke says, many will come from east and west, from north and south, and will eat in the kingdom of God. It's implied that these were Gentiles, not members of the old covenant people, outsiders, if you like, but they are the ones who are welcomed in. It's a deliberate contrast, aiming to shock some out of their complacency, which has no place in our attitudes before God. Now, all of us are somewhere on this spectrum between being too complacent at one extreme and being too uncertain and anxious of our welcome at the other extreme. Scripture addresses the needs of both ends of the spectrum and this is the tricky bit. It's for us to discern which message is the one we need to hear. Do we need encouragement and growing confidence in our faith? Or do I need to be shaken up somewhat, taken to task, held accountable, so that my life and faith will match better? That discernment takes honesty, genuine self-awareness and humility. We all find it easier to judge others than ourselves, to see others more fairly and realistically than ourselves. Hence Jesus' famous saying about the moat and the plank in our eyes. Take the plank out of your own eye and then you'll see more clearly to take the moat, the tiny speck, out of your brother's eye. It's a curious aspect of selective perception that we see in others our own faults writ large. And what about that weeping and gnashing of teeth? It's an expression of the day meaning regret, bitter regret at lost opportunities. I guess we have all had the experience of lost opportunities, of leaving something important too late. Maybe even not speaking those key words before someone died. So the point is, don't leave it too late. Don't risk that awful sinking feeling of regret, of remorse. Sort it out now. Now is the day of salvation. The kingdom of God is among you, Jesus said. So come in humility and ask and knock and the door will be opened to you.